Hey uh, folks, uh, this lesson is Ratio and Rates. Let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com and there's our common core strand for our awesome teachers. How can we write uh, ratios and rates? So after this lesson we should, should have a good understanding of it. So here we go. John has a freshwater aquarium that has three, three swordtail fish, two of these coolie loaches, and five black tetra skirts right there. Okay, so we're going to write ratios here, and we can use uh, this to compare the number of different types of fish using ratios. There's three ways to write ratios, um, and so let's write uh, the ratio of the black uh, skirt tetras to the sword tails. Okay, so the black skirt tetras, there's five, and the sword tails, there's three. So using words, we're going to say five to three. Okay, so that's how we say a ratio using words with the letter um, I'm sorry, with the word two in between it, five to three, okay? And it's important that we, um, uh, with this, it says um, three ways to write the ratio of tetras to sword tails. So there's five tetras for every three sword tails. So tetras to sword tails. Okay, as a fraction, five over three, this says five to three right there. And then with a colon, that's what we did in the last lesson. So five colon three, this says five two three they all say five two three this says it in words five to three is a fraction five to three as a colon right there okay so we can uh, uh, ratios can be written uh, to compare parts to parts we compared um, parts to parts here or we can do a, a part to a whole there's uh, 10 fish in the aquarium so we can use 10 as the whole or we can do uh, the whole to a part so the the whole aquarium to any one of the parts right there And we're gonna do that here so write each ratio using words as a fraction uh, and with a colon, okay? So we're going to do it with words as a fraction with a colon. So the black skirt tetras, I think there was five to the coolie loaches. So there was two, so five tetras for each coolie loach. So we're going to write five to two right here and then as a fraction. I'm sorry, this is going to be part to a part because we're just doing the, the tetras to the coolie loaches. This one says um, the sword tails to the whole fish in the aquarium, so this one's going to be a part to a whole right there. And this one says all the fish to the coolie loaches, so this one's going to be the whole to a part right there. All right, let's go back up here. This is going to be 5 to 2 right there as a fraction, 5 over 2, and then a colon, 5 to 2. Okay, sword tails to the total fish. Okay, sword tails, there were three sword tails. And if we add up for the total, 3 plus 2 plus 5, that's going to be 10. So it's going to be 3 to 10 right there. And then as a fraction, 3 over 10. And as a colon, 3 to 10. Okay, this one says total fish to coolie loaches. So the total is 10. Coolie loaches is 2. So we're going to write 10 to 2. Don't write 2 to 10 because they want total fish uh, to the coolie loaches. So this is second right here. So it's going to be 10 to 2 as a fraction 10 over 2 and then as a colon 10 to 2 right there. Okay. All right. So let's answer a question here. So the ratio of black skirt tetras to the total number of fish is 5 to 10. Explain what that means. Okay. Well that just means that for every five black skirt tetras there's 10 fish in the tank right there. Okay. All right, so a market sells sandwiches at a rate of $4 for one sandwich. So what rate gives the cost for five sandwiches? And we're going to uh, write the rate for five sandwiches using words and as a fraction and with a colon. Okay, so uh, a rate, you guys, is a, a, um, a ratio that compares two quantities that have different units of measure. So, so $4 for one sandwich would be 4 to 1. Okay, a unit rate, you guys is a rate that compares uh, for one unit, okay? So the unit rate for the cost per sandwich is $4 for one sandwich, okay? Unit means one, so we're gonna have one sandwich involved right here. So if they ever ask for unit rate, we gotta compare it to the terms of one right there. So $4 for one sandwich right there, or $4 to one sandwich. And I didn't put it as a colon, but it would be $4 colon one right there okay for one sandwich okay all right let's complete the table to find the rate that gives the cost of five sandwiches let's just slide that up right there okay complete the table okay so think uh, the sandwiches uh, one sandwich equals four dollars so two sandwiches will be four dollars plus four dollars or just two times four dollars right there okay so now let's complete this uh, top row right here so this is going to be two times four here's here's one times four dollars so four dollars for every um, 
every one sandwich. So this is going to be, so remember, we're multiplying it 2 times $4. So, so for two sandwiches, it's going to be 2 times 4, which is $8. Okay, so for this will be 3 times 4. This will be 4 times 4 right there. Okay, and then this is going to be 5 times 4 right there for five sandwiches. Let's go ahead and complete this. This is 2 times 1. This will be 3 times 1. And this is 4 times 1. And then... Um, and then 5 times 1 right there, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do that. 3 times 4 is 12. That's it goes there. 4 times 4 and then 5 times 4, okay? Now let's answer the question right here, okay? So the table shows that 5 sandwiches, here's 5 sandwiches right here, cost $20, okay? So so the rate that uh, that gives the cost for 5 sandwiches is, is uh, uh, this says dollars to the number of sandwiches, so it's going to be $20 to 5 sandwiches, okay? If we want wanted to write it as a fraction so here it is as words right here so it said using words and then as a fraction so it's going to be twenty dollars for five sandwiches and then using a colon it's going to be twenty to five sandwiches right there okay all right so uh, describe two other ways to say four dollars per sandwich okay well one way is to say uh, four dollars for each sandwich and another way is four dollars for every sandwich okay easy enough okay so let's try this. Write the rate in three different ways. The rate that gives the cost of three sandwiches, and this says the rate that gives the cost of four sandwiches. All right, so here's our table right here. So three sandwiches is $12 right here. So uh, we got to write it in three different ways. So we'll say it in words, as a fraction, and as a colon right here. So here it is in words, $12 for the three sandwiches. $12 for three sandwiches as a fraction, $12 for per three sandwiches as a colon, $12 for three sandwiches with a colon right there. It's that easy. And then we'll do this for $4 or four sandwiches, sorry. So it's $16 for four sandwiches. So it's going to look just like this, except $16 to four sandwiches, $16 to four sandwiches, and 16 to four right there. Okay, that's what it says right there. Okay, all right, so explain why the ratio $4 uh, for one sandwich is called a unit rate. Well, remember, a unit rate is when, we're, when we have it for one sandwich or for one anything right there. So it compares the dollars to sandwiches and shows the cost for one sandwich. Okay, so unit means we want it in terms of one right here. Okay, so explain the pattern we see in our table. Okay, so here's our table right here. So each time the number of sandwiches increase by one, so here's the number of sandwiches, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. The cost increases by four, plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four. Or we can take the number of sandwiches and multiply it by four, and that'll give us the cost for the number of sandwiches right there. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and, and take care.